All right, citizens, one and all, welcome back. We're gonna just do a brief rundown of what DAB is and what it's used for. And as you can see, technology tree. Um, I think it's when you get the goose house, you also get DAB. And what DAB is, it's for upgrading wooden and water walls, but it is also used for stone walls. It, um, I don't know if it's actually in the game yet, but in the future it will add additional like hit points to your structures as far as how often you have to repair. Um, I would also think maybe in the winter time it would it would add a layer of uh, cold protection. Because you're basically filling in all the gaps in the walls, etc. So we got clay there. Use the iron shovel when you get clay. You get so much more with the iron shovel. I don't know if that's by design or not. But once you have the clay, you go to the barn. You go, you go to the workbench in the barn. You can then make a job. And it's a, a 10 to 10 ratio. So 10 straw and 10 clay make 10 daub. So it's actually a pretty good ratio. Uh, from there, let's go over to a structure that's progress. But first, we had actually made a bunch forehand and they really jacked up the weight on this i think we only carry like 20 at a time and even then we're going to be stuck walking now but as you can see here we have a stone house in progress and that's also a stone wall there so if you build or not a stone wall but that's a wood wall so that's how it would look if you built an all wood house this is with stone we're going to then get out the hammer and then right click and click on upgrade and it will tell you hey you need daub for each piece that is what we do, and like I said, I don't think it matters yet, but in the future, I believe that there will be some math involved that has the building last longer and has the dog provide better winter protection is what I'm thinking they're going to do. I don't know that for sure, but we're going to go ahead and keep on going with this. See if we can get this building done and see what it's like with the dog. So, I like how it looks. There's also something with limestone where it says you can change the color of buildings, but I've I've messed with it. I've not had it work yet. I don't think it's implemented yet. Oh, and our wife's in there with our baby. We should be able to finish this all daub then. Up here. Six, twelve, thirteen, four, and then the whole building is daub. And from there, like I said, I think there's still some... Eventually, you'll be able to change the colors. That's another great thing as well, because it says... The daub says right here... That it's only for wattle and wood, but it also works for stone. Very good to remember often. Mention that in the Discord. If you guys are not part of the Discord yet, there is a Discord for this game. Uh, the link is on Reddit. I forget exactly what the link is. It's like Medieval Dynasty Official or something like that. But definitely join it if you have questions. They are very receptive there to answer them. Here we go. Our first full daub stone house. Very nice looking. Looks great from the inside, too. And yeah, I believe in the future, again, we'll be able to change the color. And if we want to downgrade it, you would just click the square. It's immediate. Back to the downgrade, but then you have to spend all that daub again to re-upgrade it. So, it is what it is. I think it looks great like that. I'm hoping, again, that we can change the color in the future with the limestone. But that is daub, how to make daub, how to use daub. Let me know if you have any questions. Make sure to like, subscribe, and enjoy Medieval Dynasty.